my name is Fat Ninja Star, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on an effect that I don't really know what to call just quite yet. Basically, I'm just going to show you guys right now. Um, it looks pretty cool. Basically, what it is is I have some, I have a mask, and I duplicate it, and um, you know, switch sides of it, whatever it's called, and then I have some fine edges and CC lines and twitch on top of it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this real quick, and uh, yeah, I'll figure out a name of it towards the end of the episode probably something to do with duplication in the name of it but anyways let's get started so I'm gonna make another composition and let's just go ahead and find where I want the shot to be so the shot is right there so go ahead and make a marker now what I'm gonna do is duplicate um, the clip and I'm just gonna trim it now what I'm gonna do is just mat do a rough mask of the gun like that okay and now hit M and then go over 10 frames uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. And then just readjust it. Okay, and then, oopsies. Bam, like that, like that. And then I'll go over 10 more frames. Readjust it again. And then that's all we're going to do for this one. Now I'll just do 20 frames for now. Okay, sweet. So now, once you've done that, go ahead and hit F. And then feather this to about 50 pixels. Then go back and hit I, so you're back at the endpoint. Now, what you're going to do, first of all, is first things first, is you're going to type in glow. Grab some glow, put it on here, and then go for the glow threshold, make it 40%, and then original colors, change it to A and B. You can do any color, so I'm actually going to do green because I had, um, in this one, I had purple. But uh, I'll go ahead and I'll do green for this one. So go ahead and change this to this one to a light green. And then grab it again and then make this one a darker green. Um I don't know how to do that really just like that I guess just a tiny bit darker. Sweet. So that looks kind of odd, right? Now what we're going to do is go ahead and duplicate this and uh, make this one 3D and hit R for the rotation and put this to 180. Okay, now we got that duplicated. Um, next thing is, oh, on on this layer, go ahead and type in looks. So it looks kind of weird of green, so I might fix that. Uh, whatever, we'll, we'll just play for, play with it now. Okay, so now um, on the looks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a few things, chromatic aberration, and just put this to. Uh, whoopsies. To put it to two and then put that to negative two. Okay, so got some three D going on. Then next thing is an anaerobic, anamorphic for flare or something. I don't really know how to say that word. Just make it the color that you want. So we'll make it green. Let's put the size down quite some, quite a bit. So you just have some flares that be on the gun. So maybe just up it because it's only going to be on the gun. So that would be nice. Um, now what else? We want some diffusion, wherever that is in. I think it's matte. Yeah, right here. Some diffusion, and we're going to make it the color that we want. Green, and then change the size and put the grade up. And I'll click finish. Okay, so now, as you can see, we don't even know what's going on. <laughs> but you'll see why I'm change, um, doing this. Okay, and add that. Okay, now hit T for opacity and put each of these to 50. Okay, so now it's not that bad. It's not. Oh, one second. I'm just being loud, so apologize for that. So now it's not that bad. You can kind of see what's going on. So now what we're going to do is make an adjustment layer. And just trim it up. And on this adjustment layer, one second, just got to refresh my mind. Okay. So on this adjustment layer, first of all, we're going to type in find edges. Okay. Sweet. Put it on the adjustment layer and invert it. Then you're going to get some turbulent displace. Turbulent this place cool drag that on then hit F4 and set this adjustment layer mode to add okay now we got the white lights these little like white lights things put the amount to 30 and the size to 25 okay and then you're gonna keyframe both of these let's see not that keyframe both of those and the blend of original um now what you're gonna do is type in leave color Go ahead and drag that on, put it here, and you're gonna make it white, okay? And then put the amount of decolor to 100. 
and then tolerance zero. And then lastly, um, let's say I just gotta, sorry, I just gotta refresh my mind. Okay, so lastly, we have to go back and get magic bullet looks. Looks sweet, put that on there. Go ahead and edit it. And now what you can do is grab a few options. So first first things first, get some diffusion. Just basic green and put the size down. Um, and the oh sorry, glow amount down, keep the size up. Put the glow amount down for that one. Um, then we're gonna go to chromatic aberration. Put each of these to sorry. Um, put that to one. Put that to one. Now, last thing is post. It's in post, I'm pretty sure. It's a vignette. Where is it? Camera. There we go. Vignette. No, nope, not vignette. Is it? Yep, yeah, vignette. Sorry. And just go ahead and go like that. And that's what we do. Okay, so that's done. And now make another adjustment layer. So trim that and go ahead and type in CC lens. Not ends, Jesus. CC lens, there we go. Drag it on. Put the amount to 280. Okay, so you can see it makes a tiny bit of a difference. Go ahead and type in optics compensate compensation. Reverse it and put this to 65. Now last adjustment layer for this effect. And it's you're gonna type in Twitch and you're just gonna I have a random preset, so I like that one. Put a preset on. And then type in transform. And put the transform uh, amount to 115. You could even do more if you'd like. And get the keyframe, of course. And then go back to this one, keyframe the size and the field of view. And lastly, on this one, we would keyframe what we needed. So now go ahead and just click off here and hit U. And then go with the Twitch ends. So right here, we can see that ends there. And what we're gonna do is put the scale back to 100. Uh, that back to 500. This to zero. Uh, blend for original is 100. Amount, put it to zero. And put the size up to 50. So you know it has a tiny bit of dispersion and distortion going on. Then hit T and T for this. Oh, I forgot to keep from that. So what I'm gonna do is just hit I, keep from both of these, then go to that marker and just put these down to zero. Sweet. So now I can just, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all these, minimize that opening. So now, um, we also have to fade this out slowly, so go back like 10 frames because the leaf color has a little bit of color onto it, and then go over. And plus, it's on add mode, that's why. And just put it up to zero. Cool. So now, just grab this and just trim every single one. So I recommend you do you guys do this with purple because it looks much more nice than green. But yeah, so that's really about it, guys. It looks kind of similar. It looks a lot nicer with um, purple, I'll admit. But uh, yeah, so basically just um, why I have more white lines on this one than that one is just to do with the green and also maybe to do with the turbulent display settings. I don't think I have the exact same numbers and everything. But uh, yeah, so that's really about it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, I don't really know what to call it yet. You know, it's just a really random funky glitch effect but uh yeah so go ahead and uh, leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it and uh thank you guys for watching and call of duty ghost comes out a week from today which is really exciting for a lot of people and i'm almost at 4k so i'm thinking at 4k i'm going to do a cod ghost um editing contest um like one of the first ones just so you guys have that chance to edit cod ghost uh, as soon as it comes out so uh yeah so thank you guys for watching have a nice day and uh, I'll see you guys later.